Alan Astral Projection. Down here towards the earth, wet rubble sits, exists, is chewed apart by carnivorous wheels, run on human meat, devouring its own tail, if you can even imagine something like that. From the womb we see Alan can fly around the national park. Down inside the valley cool fog sits, and it is always dusk or dawn and never any time in between. Up high the desert is boiling like a cauldron. Alan is bleeding, hurtling towards a shanty town, a nose-faced lady disapproves. A time warp happens. It is back in time now. We understand now of his disfigurement, causing his spots and cuts to all heal at different times. Blood pours from his face. Getting drunk, a medical explosion. Is this his origin story? Back in the present, Alan is taking crack. He smoulders into a huge frothing rotten orange. All the colours change. Alan is on LSD. All of a sudden, a foot opens the door and pulls a mobile phone out. There is another camera outside the hole but all we can see are his legs. Pan out, and in the crystal caves of Mars, in insulin lake, angels sing and fuck. From the refracting lighthouse, you can see their teeny little hearts. Beneath the planet of the apes, in an iron lung, a fat nurse lets his blood. There isn't room for leeches, but this is good enough. But in prison, I will definitely be fucked. By the man who uses a phone with his foot, no less. I am emasculated by the foot. Days or years later, talking about how white people drink out of soda cans in a very particular way in order to make less noise. I haven't read the room. A billion years from now, in the caves of Mars, the past call sands receding. You can never see the stars. The angels are all bones now. It's time that we depart.